welcome to another vlog and we're starting this one out with not such great news it's been raining so hard and we've had fl flash flood warnings and our basement officially completely flooded today oh my gosh it's just it, it's a complete wreck we've spent the last three and a half hours trying to soak up as much water as we possibly can it's like a complete nightmare you guys there's literally just water standing under our floor here. I know I look like a hot mess, but thankfully we had a shop vac that we've tried to like get all the carpets as much, you know, as, as dry as we can, but it's like it's seeping up through the floors. So like literally all of this was completely, I mean completely, flooded standing water everywhere it took us about three hours but we've gotten it soaked up pretty much but it keeps coming up through the cracks so you can you can hear it like it's just it's still all in the carpet everywhere this was completely dry and now it is completely soaked again it's just like seeping up through the floor like can you you can hear the water under the floor so the fans are going so it's really really loud down here but all of our laminate floor is being pulled up and all of this is going to be replaced with tile we've got all of our rugs hanging up to try to dry we have to replace padding in here, but I think we were able to salvage the carpet in here. All of this carpet's gonna have to be completely taken out and redone. And all in here as well. So it's just a hot mess, but we're making progress. Good morning. I am getting ready for church and it's time to refresh this hair of mine. And I just wanna note makeup looking bomb this morning i use the uh clinique oh my gosh the one that looks like it has like a wand that foundation i haven't used it in so long i forget exactly what it's called anyway amazing also been loving this pro product uh for the brows from patrick ta i've really been digging his like entire line it's the like tinted brow wax um, you can't really see it in here, but it looks so good. I love it. It's like so easy to use. Anyway, I'll do like a little tutorial with that soon. And I also have a Patrick Ta lip liner and lip cream on right now. Can't remember the name of it. I will put it in the description box. My hair's been up in a messy bun for a few days because as you know, my basement flooded. So we've been a little preoccupied, but I am gonna go in with this and refresh with this today. I haven't actually refreshed with this product. This is the Coconut Curl Spray, and it's a medium hold styling product curl refresher. You can also use this on your wash day, but I really wanted to see how this works for my refresh days. So I'm just gonna kind of shake my hair out. My hair still feels really, really good from the curl booster from this line. So loving that. I'm just gonna use a little bit of water to kind of spray through, especially like around my root area where it's all stretched out and whatever from being up. All right, now that my hair is a little bit damp, I'm gonna take this, shake it up a little bit, and then I'm just gonna start to kind of spray it through and scrunch. You could also spray this right in your hands and then like smooth it over, like this one. Can take a little bit and smooth it over if that's more your jam. That probably helps distribute it a little bit better, especially on refresh days. I always go in with my hair repair towel. Always keep that handy. Always keep plenty of them handy, actually. Of course, I'm going to diffuse and I will show you guys my refresh results. I have not even scrunched out anything yet and look at this definition and volume. I, I, what? Anytime you need day one good hair, this is gonna be my go-to and now, like just a little bit of that spray, curl spray, and my hair is 
insanely voluminous, defined, like, I, I, I'm just, I'm just so shocked by these products, y'all. I'm in love. If you haven't tried this brand, you need to try it. So good. Quick, easy, halfway healthy. I use sour cream in here, but typically I would have Greek yogurt, like plain Greek yogurt in my fridge, and I would use that in place of sour cream. Tons of protein without all the fat, but this taco bowl, delish. I'm having a little orange moment this week. I did the Curl Smith hair makeup in the shade Copper. And I don't know which one I like better, red or copper. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. I actually just came back from um, doing hair and makeup for a photo shoot and I had on my mask, mask the entire time. So I feel like from here down, my makeup is like gross. I was gonna update y'all about what happened with the church? I never did fill y'all in after the building got struck by lightning. The youth building is the one that got struck, but it affected all of the buildings. We have a big sanctuary in one building, our old sanctuary where the chapel is, and another building, and then our youth building. So it's like essentially three separate buildings. There was damage in every single one. The sound system in the chapel was completely blown. The sound system in the youth building blown, the AC in the youth building blown, monitors, projectors, like there's so much that we have to replace. Obviously you just can't plan for something like this, but we're just looking at it as a blessing in disguise because there's things that we've needed to uh, replace. So we're trying to see the silver lining. The bad part is there, there is no sound system, so it's a little difficult to do worship and stuff. So last night was actually Wednesday night and we have church on Wednesdays. So for the youth, we actually took the youth service outside and did like an unplugged version of the youth sang with no mics. And it was so, it was so nice. It was just a great night. <laughs> Finally, you know, my basement got flooded. Well, when our basement got flooded, the church's chapel got flooded as well, like really, really bad. So they've had all of that to deal with as well. So it's just been, it's been a lot, y'all. 2020 needs to just get on down the road and let's move on to brighter days ahead. Please, thank you, hallelujah. So I think I'm gonna work on some stuff in my filming room today. I need to get up well, I need to put together my light fixture, but I need to take down a ceiling fan in order to put that up. And I don't know that I can do that by myself, um, but I am gonna go ahead and try to put together the light fixture today. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here is my box with my new chandelier that I've gotta try to put together. Here is the current light fixture. We just have a regular old ceiling fan and I cannot wait to replace this. And let's try to put this thing together. <laughs> made it this far on my own. I took down the whole um, 
ceiling fan, which is all packed in there. Proud of myself for that. And then I got this all together and hung up. The only thing that I haven't done is rewire it up here. And something happened when I was doing everything and the other lights in my room went off. So I don't want to do that on my own just in case like there's something else that needs to be done. I don't want to get it all screwed in and then something not be working. So my husband's going to finish this when he gets home. But I pretty much got it up all by myself. So super proud. What's up? You probably can barely hear me because my ice machine is going right now, but I was going to show you guys another favorite um, little healthy snack that I love making literally almost on the daily. This is the one that I use. This is the original Greek yogurt from Light and Fit from Dannon. It's got 14 grams of protein, which is amazing. 10 grams of carbs, zero fat, only 90 calories for basically like a half a cup, I think. And then I like to do sliced strawberries or blueberries. You can do any kind of fruit you want. I add in some chia seeds. I like to add sliced almonds. And then this is the granola that I use. This is the triple berry. And it's literally delicious and it's so healthy. And it's just such a quick little healthy snack. So just wanted to share that with you guys. And yes, I have zit cream on because um, my face is breaking out. Just came from the gym. I'm exhausted. Shay came with me. <laughs> and we're dead. We did the power class, which is like a weightlifting class. And I feel a little jello legs. I don't think they can hear you. You're whispering. Have jello legs. They feel like jello, like gumby. That's what it feels like. Anything else? About to eat. Salad. Another healthy treat is fresh guacamole. I use two avocados, some onion salt, cilantro, um, lime juice, and just regular salt and mix it all up and it's delicious. I look absolutely horrendous. I, I know, I know. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, look at these contacts. So these are color contacts. I will leave the company and everything below. These are the color green gray. I've already got green eyes, but they kind of make my green eyes look a little bit grayish. And I'm loving them. These are prescription contacts. You can get them with no prescription as well, but I just think they're so, so cool. And they're super affordable. And I think these last an entire year. I'll leave all the information in the description box, but that I would show you guys really, really quick. Um, but my room is coming together. I told you guys I've been working on my filming room and trying to get it all situated. I got the light fixture up finally. That's good to go. Um, and then I painted the dresser in my room, which used to be um, kind of like a bright green almost. Um, it's been in a lot of my videos. I've used it as a background in some of my videos, but I painted that blush pink and then I finished up some stuff on the wall. It's still not complete, but I will turn you around and show you what it's looking like. Okay, so it looks a little bit dark in here, but here is what it's looking like. So here is, I wish the light was a little bit bigger, but I still really, really love that. Here is the dresser. So this used to be green and I painted it a baby pink color. And I already had this plant in here. I want to get a basket to put the plant in. And then I already had these lights as well. So I just kind of put those all around. Over here, this is what I just purchased. So I got these, if you can see them, it's again, kind of dark here, but these are like little hanging garland sort of things and I'll leave them again linked in the description box got them off of Amazon and it comes with a pack of 12 I'm still I, I think I'm just going to reupholster this whole thing I tried to get a cover for it and it doesn't fit I need to take it off and just reupholster the whole thing but um that's for another day another time but what I did was just take a little piece of string gold string and I just tacked it up and then hung the little garland pieces over it and I think it looks so cute like that. It's all, it's all coming together. I have some exciting news. I am so excited. I've waited for this moment 
Basically, since 2008, when I had to start wearing glasses and contacts, I am finally getting LASIK surgery. I will no longer need glasses or contacts anymore. I don't even know how to act. I'm gonna actually end the vlog here because I'm gonna start the next vlog going through my LASIK journey with you guys. I actually go for like my big two hour eye exam next week and then my surgery is the following week. So I'm a little nervous, but I am so, so excited for the next basically two weeks before I have my surgery. Um, I cannot wear my contacts at all. So I'm not used to wearing my glasses, y'all. I literally only wear my glasses at night because I am a avid contact wearer. I wear my contacts all day, every single day, and I have been since literally 2008. And then the other thing is that I can't wear makeup two days prior to surgery and then for, I think it's like three weeks after. So I can wear, I can wear like face makeup. I just can't do anything around my eyes. I'm gonna take you guys on this journey with me. I hope you're excited for me. And um, yeah, so if you've ever wanted LASIK or thought about LASIK, um, then come along with me and I will share my personal journey with you. And on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Peace out.